Hello, everybody, brothers and sisters in Christ, and everybody else who's watching. God bless you. And I just want to come on here and give this testimony. I can't keep it to myself. I almost had to call a brother or sister just to just to, just to tell what happened today, um, earlier today. So um, as I was working, um, I do delivery, uh, and I saw... A homeless young man, you know, on a on an intersection, and I seen him before. And last time I tried to help him out, I was too late. He left somewhere else, and so I meet him again today. I see him, and uh, he has no shoes or no socks, and that just really touches my heart right there. Just like, you know, when I see that, I, I can't just let somebody just be out with no socks or shoes. So. I made an effort to uh, come back after I dropped off the delivery and went back. So I went back, talked to him, and I uh, got his shoe size was 10 and a half, right? And so um made sure he was he got some, uh, needed some food and, and whatnot. And he happened to be a believer. And so I uh, come back from the store, got him what he needs. And, um, you know, all I decided to do was pray, you know. If I leave people or just, you know, when I come to people, just it's good to pray. So I pray with them. Right. And um, I pray with them. And in my prayer, I pray to God that he will supernaturally bless him. Even after I leave, because I see people uh, on YouTube and homeless other people, all of the homeless people getting miraculously blessed with houses and cars and stuff. So I know God can do the same for this young man and he had a sincere heart uh, i don't believe he he was doing drugs or anything he just happened to be in a bad spot no family out here his family's in california and it's very it's very it's very uh sad so i just prayed god you supernaturally blessed him i mean bless him and um after i prayed look at god after i pray i i i, I talk with him a little bit more and then a lady pulls up, hands him, uh, a, it was a big bag full of uh, clothes and a, another pair of shoes, size 11. And I was like, wow, praise God. He, we and him, me and him were just like shocked, like, wow, like, praise God. Like, you know, he said, just, he said, just like you prayed. And so uh, we, I, we kept on chatting it up and we kept on talking. And then maybe literally... Two minutes later, or maybe a minute later, a lady uh, across the street hollers at me, gets my attention, and I go over there. She asks me, "Do I know him?" I said, "No, I just met him." And she said, "Well, I want to give. I want to. Um, can you give this to him? Um, I didn't know what to get, so I got him a, a suitcase. But here's the thing: when he before when I went before uh, when I met him the first time." Uh, to go to go get what he needs from the store, he asked if I if he can get a a bag, a grocery bag. So, and I forgot about it, but you know, so this lady, she has a suitcase, a big suitcase, and it looks it looks expensive. Um, area I live in, it's really a it's like a wealthy area, and um, this lady I knew she she was she had some money, but anyway. She got him a suitcase, and in the suitcase was some, another pair of shoes and some more clothes. So I run over back across the street to go uh, talk to the guy, and um, me and him were just like, we're mind blown. And we, I opened the, I opened to, I opened suitcases to show him what he got, and guess what size it was? It was size ten and a half, his size. And I'm like, wow. I, I, and, I, and, I, and, I, and I and I and I when I was opening the suitcase, I said, if this happens to be your size, man, you, bro, you cannot, you can't make this stuff up, bro. Like, God is so real, and he and he heard that he heard our my prayer, um, just like that. And it was just like, it's really made my day. It's still making my day. Just every time I think about, it, I just laugh and just like. God is so amazing, and he cares for his people. And I asked him, I asked the guy, 
I said, um, has this ever happened to you, you know, within your, within you being homeless? He said, this has never happened. He, he literally got triple blessed. He got a pair of, he got a pair of shoes from me, uh, another woman and another lady. So he got three pairs of shoes, some socks, you know, some, um, some clothes, like, and some food, like. God really, he he really provided for this man. It was just, it was just amazing, just a blessing, just to see, and you know, it really. The scripture does tell the truth when it says it's better to give than receive. It really, it really encouraged me, and it really helped me because I'm going through something right now, and it's like, if God just supernaturally blesses me, I know He will take care of me. I know. I don't have to worry. I don't. You know, and I sometimes I can be in a place where I'm, you know, exhausted and stuff, but God, you know, he always sends somebody or has me do something to encourage me. So this was just really blessed me. And I hope it blessed you and just to um shine your light before men. That's why Jesus said and I and I think really this is part of why all this happened because as i was praying like whenever i pray for some pray with someone out in the open i know someone's looking and it touches the hearts of people because like when we shine our light it really it starts like a chain reaction and god and then you start to get see um god moving upon people's heart people start getting convicted like oh man i gotta help and do this and do that like god really moves when you just really shine your light and i'm not talking about going out there with a uh camera crew and having you having them record you and doing no you can just do it out in the open and just let your light shine because you don't never know who's watching and i'm not trying to take all the glory god he's the one who did this all but i'm just saying like shine your light really makes a difference and you'll never know who's watching and this really just blessed me today. I just wanted to tell somebody, and I hope this blessed you. And so um, keep me in your prayers and um, as I pray for you. And let's just ask God to help us get into this new year with a new mindset, with more strength, because we don't know what's coming um, here in 2021. So God bless y'all. Keep the faith and do it to them.